chapters 29 through 38 of the book of Isaiah from the Young's Literal Translation of the Bible. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Mark Penfold. Chapters 29 through 38 of Isaiah from the Young's Literal Translation. Chapter 29 Woe to Ariel, Ariel, the city of the encampment of David! Add year to year, let festivals go round. And I have sent distress to Ariel, and it hath been lamentation and mourning, and it hath been to me as Ariel. And I encamped, O babbler, against thee, and I laid siege against thee, a camp. And I raised up against thee bulwarks, and thou hast been low, from the earth thou speakest, and from the dust makest thy saying low, and thy voice hath been from the earth, as one having a familiar spirit, and from the dust thy saying whisperest, and as small dust hath been the multitude of those scattering thee, and as chaff passing on the multitude of the terrible, and it hath been at an instant, suddenly. By Jehovah of hosts thou art inspected, with thunder and with an earthquake, and great noise, hurricane and whirlwind, and flame of devouring fire. And as a dream, a vision of night, hath been the multitude of all the nations who are warring against Ariel, and all its warriors, and its bulwark, even of those distressing her. And it hath been as when the hungry dreameth, and lo, he is eating, and he hath waked, and empty is his soul. And as when the thirsty dreameth, and lo, he is drinking, and he hath waked, and lo, he is weary, and his soul is longing. So is the multitude of all the nations who are warring against Mount Zion. Tarry and wonder, look ye, yea, look, be drunk and not with wine, stagger and not with strong drink. For poured out on you hath Jehovah a spirit of deep sleep, and he closeth your eyes, the prophets and your heads, the seers, he covered and the vision of the whole is to you as words of the sealed book that they give unto one knowing books, saying, Read this, we pray thee. And he hath said, I am not able, for it is sealed. And the book is given to him who hath not known books, saying, Read this, we pray thee. And he hath said, I have not known books. And the Lord saith, Because drawn near hath this people with its mouth, and with its lips they have honoured me, and its heart it hath put far off from me, and their fear of me is, a precept of men is taught. Therefore, lo, I am adding to do wonderfully with his people, a wonder and a marvel, and perished half the wisdom of its wise ones, and the understanding of its intelligent ones hideth itself. Woe to those going deep from Jehovah to hide counsel, and whose works have been in darkness, and they say, Who is seeing us, and who is knowing us? Your perversion, as clay is the potter esteemed, that the work saith of its maker, He hath not made me, and the framed thing said of its framer, He did not understand? Is it not yet a very little, and turned hath Lebanon to a fruitful field, and the fruitful field for a forest is reckoned? And heard in that day have the deaf the words of a book, and out of thick darkness, and out of darkness the eyes of the blind do see. And the humble have added joy in Jehovah, and the poor among men in the Holy One of Israel rejoice. For ceased hath the terrible one, and consumed hath been the scorner, and cut off hath been all watching for iniquity, causing men to sin in word, and for a reprover in the gate lay a snare, and turn aside into emptiness the righteous. Therefore thus said Jehovah, who ransomed Abraham concerning the house of Jacob, Not now ashamed is Jacob, nor now doth his face become pale, for in his seeing his children, the work of my hand in his midst, they sanctify my name, and have sanctified the Holy One of Jacob, and the God of Israel they declare fearful, and the erring in spirit have known understanding, and murmurers learn doctrine. Chapter 30 Woe to apostate sons, the affirmation of Jehovah to do counsel and not from me, and to spread out a covering and not of my spirit, so as to add sin to sin, who are walking to go down to Egypt, and my mouth have not asked, to be strong in the strength of Pharaoh, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt, 
and the strength of Pharaoh hath been to you for shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt confusion. For in Zoan were his princes, and his messengers reach Hanes. All he made ashamed of a people that profit not, neither for help, not for profit, but for shame, and also for reproach, the burden of the beasts of the south into a land of adversity and distress, of young lion and of old lion, whence are viper and flying seraph, they carry on the shoulder of asses their wealth, and on the hump of camels their treasures, unto a people not profitable. Yea, Egyptians are vanity, and in vain do help. Therefore I have cried concerning this. Their strength is to sit still. Now go in, write it on a tablet with them, and on a book engrave it, and it is for a latter day, for a witness unto the age, that a rebellious people is this, sons, liars, sons not willing to hear the law of Jehovah, who have said to seers, ye do not see, and to prophets, ye do not prophesy to us straightforward things, speak to us smooth things, prophesy deceits, turn aside from the way, decline from the path, cause to cease from before us the Holy One of Israel. Therefore thus said the Holy One of Israel, because of your kicking against this word, and ye trust in oppression and perverseness, and rely on it, therefore is this iniquity to you as a breach falling, swelled out in a wall set on high, whose destruction suddenly at an instant cometh. And he hath broken it as the breaking of the potter's bottle, beaten down he doth not spare, nor is there found in its beating down a putcher to take fire from the burning, and to draw out waters from a ditch. For thus said the Lord Jehovah, the Holy One of Israel, In returning and rest ye are saved, in keeping quiet and in confidence is your might, and ye have not been willing. And ye say, No, for on a horse we flee, therefore ye flee, and on the swift we ride, therefore swift are your pursuers. One thousand because of the rebuke of one, because of the rebuke of five ye flee, till ye have been surely left as a pole on the top of the mountain, and as an ensign on the height. And therefore doth wait Jehovah to favor you, and therefore he is exalted to pity you, for a God of judgment is Jehovah. Oh, the blessedness of all waiting for him! For the people in Zion dwell in Jerusalem. Weep thou not, weeping, pitying. He pitieth thee at the voice of thy cry. When he heareth, he answereth thee. And the Lord hath given to you bread of adversity, and water of oppression, and thy directors remove no more, and thine eyes have seen thy directors, and thine ear heareth a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, go ye in it, when ye turn to the right, and when ye turn to the left. And ye have defiled the covering of thy graven images of silver, and the ephod of thy molten image of gold, thou scatterest them as a sickening thing. Go out, thou sayest to it and he hath given rain for thy seed, with which thou dost sow the ground, and bread, the increase of the ground, and it hath been fat and plenteous. Enjoy do thy cattle in that day, an enlarged pasture, and the oxen and the young asses serving the ground, fermented provender do eat, that one is winnowing with shovel and fan. And there hath been on every high mount, and on every exalted hill, rivulets, streams of waters, in a day of much slaughter, in the falling of towers and the light of the moon hath been as the light of the sun, and the light of the sun is sevenfold, as the light of seven days, in the day of Jehovah's binding up the breach of his people, when the stroke of its wound he healeth. Lo, the name of Jehovah is coming from far, burning is his anger, and great the flame. His lips have been full of indignation, and his tongue is as a devouring fire, and his breath is as an overflowing stream, unto the neck it divideth to sift nations with a sieve of vanity, and a bridle causing to err, is on the jaws of the peoples. Singing is to you as in a night sanctified for a festival, and joy of heart as he who is going with a pipe, to go into the mountain of Jehovah, unto the rock of Israel. And cause to be heard hath Jehovah the honor of his voice, and the coming down of his arm he doth slew with a raging of anger, and the flame of a consuming fire, scattering, and inundation, and hailstone. For from the voice of Jehovah, broken down is Ashur, with a rod he smiteth. And every passage of the settled staff that Jehovah causeth to rest on him hath been with tabrets, and with harps, and in battles of shaking he hath fought with it. For, arranged from former time is Tophet, even it for the king is prepared, he hath made deep, 
he hath made large. Its pile is fire and much wood. The breath of Jehovah, as a stream of brimstone, is burning in it. Chapter 31 Woe to those going down to Egypt for help, and on horses lean, and trust on chariots, because many, and on horsemen, because very strong, and have not looked on the Holy One of Israel, and Jehovah have not sought. And he also is wise, and bringeth in evil, and his words he hath not turned aside, and he hath risen against a house of evildoers, and against the help of workers of iniquity. And the Egyptians are men, and not God, and their horses are flesh, and not spirit. And Jehovah stretcheth out his hand, and stumbled hath the helper, and fallen hath the helped one, and together all of them are consumed. For thus said Jehovah unto me, As growl doth the lion and the young lion over his prey, called against whom is a multitude of shepherds, from their voice he is not affrighted, and from their noise he is not humbled. So come down doth Jehovah of hosts to war on Mount Zion, and on her height. As birds flying, so doth Jehovah of hosts cover over Jerusalem, covering and delivering, passing over and causing to escape. Turn back to him from whom sons of Israel have deepened apostasy. For in that day despised doth each his idols of silver and his idols of gold that your hands made to you a sin. And fallen hath Ashur by sword, not of the high, yea, a sword, not of the low, doth consume him. And he hath fled for himself from the face of a sword, and his young men become tributary. And to his rock from fear he passeth on, and affrighted by the ensign have been his princes, an affirmation of Jehovah, who hath a light in Zion, and who hath a furnace in Jerusalem. Chapter 32 Lo, for righteousness doth a king reign, as to princes, for judgment they rule. And each hath been as a hiding place from wind, and as a secret hiding place from inundation, as rivulets of waters in a dry place, as a shadow of a heavy rock in a weary land. And not dazzled are the eyes of beholders, and the ears of hearers do attend. And the heart of those hastened understandeth to know, and the tongue of stammerers hasteth to speak clearly. A fool is no more called noble, and to a miser it is not said, rich. For a fool speaketh folly, and his heart doth iniquity, to do profanity, and to speak concerning Jehovah error, to empty the soul of the hungry, yea, drink of the thirsty he causeth to lack. And the miser, his instruments are evil, he hath counseled wicked devices, to corrupt the poor with lying sayings, even when the needy speaketh justly. And the noble counseled noble things, and he for noble things riseth up. Women, easy ones, rise, hear my voice, daughters, confident ones, give ear to my saying. Days and a year ye are troubled, O confident ones, for consumed hath been harvest, the gathering cometh not. Tremble, ye women, ye easy ones, be troubled, ye confident ones, strip and make bare with a girdle on the loins, for breasts they are lamenting, for fields of desire, for the fruitful vine. Over the ground of my people, thorn, briar goeth up, surely over all houses of joy of the exulting city, surely the palace hath been left, the multitude of the city forsaken, fort and watchtower hath been for dens unto the age, a joy of wild asses, a pasture of herds. Till emptied out on us is the spirit from on high, and a wilderness hath become a fruitful field, and the fruitful field for a forest is reckoned and dwelt in the wilderness hath judgment, and righteousness in the fruitful field remaineth. And a work of the righteousness hath been peace, and a service of the righteousness, keeping quiet and confidence unto the age. And dwelt hath my people in a peaceful habitation, and in steadfast tabernacles, and in quiet resting places. And it hath hailed in the going down of the forest, and in the valley is the city low, Happy are ye sowing by all waters, sending forth the foot of the ox and the ass. Chapter 33 Woe, spoiler, and thou not spoiled, and treacherous, and they dealt not treacherously with thee. When thou dost finish, O spoiler, thou art spoiled. 
when thou dost finish dealing treacherously, they deal treacherously with thee. O Jehovah, favor us. For thee we have waited. Be their arm in the mornings, yea, our salvation in time of adversity. From the voice of a multitude fled hath peoples. From thine exaltation scattered hath been nations, and gathered hath been your spoil, a gathering of the caterpillar, as a running to and fro of locusts is he running on it. Set on high is Jehovah, for he is dwelling on high. He filled Zion with judgment and righteousness, and hath been the steadfastness of thy times, the strength of salvation, wisdom, and knowledge. Fear of Jehovah, it is his treasure. Lo, their Ariel, they have cried without. Messengers of peace do weep bitterly. Desolated have been highways. Ceased hath he who passeth along the path. He hath broken covenant. He hath despised enemies. He hath not esteemed a man. Mourned, languished hath the land. Confounded hath been Lebanon. Withered hath been Sharon as a wilderness. And shaking are Bashan and Carmel. Now do I arise, saith Jehovah. Now I am exalted. Now I am lifted up. Ye conceive chaff. Ye bear stubble. Your spirit fire devoureth you. And peoples have been as burnings of lime, thorns as sweepings, with fire they burn. Hear ye far off that which I have done, and know ye near ones my might. Afraid in Zion have been sinners, seized hath trembling the profane. Who doth dwell for us, consuming fire? Who doth dwell for us, burnings of the age? Whoso is walking righteously, and is speaking uprightly, kicking against gain of oppressions, shaking his hands from taking hold on a bribe, stopping his ear from hearing of blood, and shutting his eyes from looking on evil. He high places doth inhabit. Strongholds of rock are his high tower. His bread hath been given, his waters steadfast. A king in his beauty see to thine eyes. They see a land afar off. Thy heart doth meditate terror. Where is he who is counting? Where is he who is weighing? Where is he who is counting the towers? The strong people thou seest not, a people deeper of lip than to be understood, of a scorned tongue there is no understanding. See Zion, the city of our meetings, thine eyes see Jerusalem, a quiet habitation, a tent not taken down, not removed are its pins forever, and none of its cords are broken. But there mighty is Jehovah for us, a place of rivers, streams broad of sides, no ship with oars doth go into it, and a mighty ship doth not pass over it. For Jehovah our judge, Jehovah our lawgiver, Jehovah our king, he doth save us. Left have been thy ropes, they strengthen not rightly their mast, they have not spread out a sail, then a portion hath been a prey of much spoil, the lame have taken spoil, nor doth an inhabitant say, I was sick, the people that is dwelling in it is forgiven of iniquity. Chapter 34 Come near, ye nations, to hear, and ye peoples give attention. Here doth the earth and its fullness, the world and all its productions. For wrath is to Jehovah against all the nations, and fury against all their host. He hath devoted them to destruction, he hath given them to slaughter, and their wounded are cast out, and their carcasses cause their stench to ascend, and melted have been mountains from their blood, and consumed have been all the host of the heavens, and rolled together as a book have been the heavens, and all their hosts do fade, as the fading of a leaf of a vine, and as the fading one of a fig tree. For soaked in the heavens was my sword, lo, on Edom it cometh down, on the people of my curse for judgment. A sword is to Jehovah, it hath been full of blood, it hath been made fat with fatness, with blood of lambs and he-goats, with fat of kidneys of rams, for a sacrifice is to Jehovah in Basra, and a great slaughter in the land of Edom. And come down have reams with them, and bullocks with bulls, and soaked hath been their land from blood, and their dust from fatness is made fat. For a day of vengeance is to Jehovah, a year of recompenses for Zion's strife. And turned have been her streams to pitch, and her dust to brimstone, and her land hath become burning pitch. By night and by day she is not quenched. To the age go up doth her smoke. From generation to generation she is waste. For ever and ever none is passing into her. And possess her do pelican and hedgehog, and owl and raven dwell in her. 
and he hath stretched out over her a line of vacancy and stones of emptiness to the kingdom her freemen they call but there are none there and all her princes are at an end and gone up her palaces have thorns nettle and bramble are in her fortresses and it hath been a habitation of dragons a court for daughters of an ostrich and met have zaim with aim and the goat for its companion calleth only there resteth half the night owl and hath found for herself a place of rest there made her nest half the bittern yea she layeth and hath hatched and hath gathered under her shadow only there gathered hath been vultures each with its companion seek out of the book of jehovah and read one of these hath not been lacking none hath missed its companion for my mouth it hath commanded and his spirit he hath gathered them and he hath cast for them a lot and his hand hath apportioned it to them by line unto the age they possess it to all generations they dwell in it chapter thirty five they joy from the wilderness and dry place and rejoice doth the desert and flourish as the rose flourishing it doth flourish and rejoice yea with joy and singing the honour of lebanon hath been given to it the beauty of carmel and sharon they they see the honour of jehovah the majesty of our god strengthen ye the feeble hands yea the stumbling knees strengthen say to the hastened of heart be strong fear not lo your god vengeance cometh the recompense of god he himself doth come and save you then opened our eyes of the blind and ears of the deaf are unstopped then leap as a heart doth the lame and sing doth the tongue of the dumb for broken up in a wilderness have been waters and streams in a desert and the mirage hath become a pond and the thirsty land fountains of waters in the habitation of dragons its place of couching down a court for reed and rush and a highway hath been there and a way and the way of holiness is called to it not pass over it doth the unclean and he himself is by them whoso is going in the way even fools err not no lion is there yea a destructive beast ascendeth it not it is not found there and what hath been the redeemed and the ransomed of jehovah return and have entered zion with singing and joy age during on their head joy and gladness they attain and fled away have sorrow and sighing chapter thirty six and it cometh to pass in the fourteenth year of king hezekiah come up hath sennacherib king of ashur against all the fenced cities of judah and seizeth them and the king of ashur sendeth rabshakeh from lachish to jerusalem unto the king hezekiah with a heavy force and he standeth by the conduit of the upper pool in the highway of the fuller's field and go forth unto him doth eliakim son of hilkiah who is over the house and shebna the scribe and joah son of asaph the remembrancer and rabshakeh saith unto them say ye i pray you unto hezekiah thus said the great king the king of ashur what is this confidence in which thou hast confided i have said only a word of the lips counsel and might are for battle now on whom hast thou trusted that thou hast rebelled against me lo thou hast trusted on the staff of this broken reed on egypt which a man leaneth on and it hath gone into his hand and pierced it so is pharaoh king of egypt to all those trusting on him and dost thou say unto me unto jehovah our god we have trusted is it not he whose high places and whose altars hezekiah hath turned aside and saith to judah and to jerusalem before this altar ye do bow yourselves and now negotiate i pray thee with my lord the king of ashur and i give to thee two thousand horses if thou art able to put for thee riders on them and how dost thou turn back the face of one captain of the least of the servants of my lord and dost trust for thee on egypt for chariot and for horsemen and now without jehovah have i come up against this land to destroy it jehovah said unto me go up unto this land and thou hast destroyed it and eliakim saith and shebna and joah unto rabshakeh speak we pray thee unto thy servants in aramean for we are understanding and do not speak unto us in jewish in the ears of the people who are on the wall and rabshakeh saith unto thy lord and unto thee hath my lord sent me to speak these words is it not for the men those sitting on the wall to eat their own dung and to drink their own water with you 
And Rabshakeh standeth and calleth with a great voice in Jewish, and saith, Hear ye the words of the great king, the king of Ashur. Thus said the king, Let not Hezekiah lift you up, for he is not able to deliver you. And let not Hezekiah make you trust unto Jehovah, saying, Jehovah doth certainly deliver us. This city is not given into the hand of the king of Ashur. Do not hearken unto Hezekiah, for thus said the king of Ashur, Make ye with me a blessing, and come out unto me, and eat ye each of his vine, and each of his fig tree, and drink ye each the waters of his own well, till my coming in, and I have taken you unto a land like your own land, a land of corn and wine, a land of bread and vineyards, lest Hezekiah doth persuade you, saying, Jehovah doth deliver us. Have the gods of the nations delivered each his land out of the hand of the king of Ashur? Where are the gods of Hamath and Arpad? Where are the gods of Sepharvaim, that they have delivered Samaria out of my hand? Who among all the gods of these lands are they who have delivered their land out of my hand, that Jehovah doth deliver Jerusalem out of my hand? And they keep silent, and have not answered him a word, for a command of the king is saying, Do not answer him. And Eliakim son of Hilkiah, who is over the house, cometh in, and Shebna the scribe, and Joah son of Asaph the remembrancer, unto Hezekiah with rent garments, and they declare to him the words of Rabshakeh. Chapter 37 And it cometh to pass, at the king Hezekiah's hearing, that he rendeth his garments, and covereth himself with sackcloth, and entereth the house of Jehovah, and sendeth Eliakim, who is over the house, and Shebna the scribe, and the elders of the priests, covering themselves with sackcloth, unto Isaiah, son of Amoz the prophet. And they say unto him, Thus said Hezekiah, A day of distress and rebuke and despising is this day, for come have sons unto the birth, and power there is not to bear. It may be Jehovah thy God doth hear the words of Rabshakeh with which the king of Ashur his lord hath sent him to reproach the living God, and hath decided concerning the words that Jehovah thy God hath heard, and thou hast lifted up prayer for the remnant that is found. And the servants of king Hezekiah come in unto Isaiah, and Isaiah saith unto them, Thus do ye say unto your lord, Thus said Jehovah, Be not afraid because of the words that thou hast heard, with which the servants of the king of Ashur have reviled me. Lo, I am giving in him a spirit, and he hath heard a report, and hath turned back unto his land, and I have caused him to fall by the sword in his land. And Rabshakeh turneth back, and findeth the king of Ashur fighting against Libna, for he hath heard that he hath journeyed from Lachish, and he heareth concerning Kirhaka, king of Cush, saying, He hath come out to fight with thee, and he heareth, and sendeth messengers unto Hezekiah, saying, Thus do ye speak unto Hezekiah king of Judah, saying, Let not thy God lift thee up in whom thou art trusting, saying, Jerusalem is not given into the hand of the king of Ashur. Lo, thou hast heard that which the kings of Ashur have done to all the lands, to devote them, and thou art delivered. Did the gods of the nations deliver them whom my fathers destroyed, Gozan, and Haran, and Rezeph, and the sons of Eden who are in Telassar? Where is the king of Hamath, and the king of Arpad, and the king of the city of Sepharvaim, Hena, and Eva? And Hezekiah taketh the letters out of the hand of the messengers, and readeth them. And Hezekiah goeth up to the house of Jehovah, and Hezekiah spreadeth it before Jehovah. And Hezekiah prayeth unto Jehovah, saying, Jehovah of hosts, God of Israel, inhabiting the cherubs, thou art God himself, thyself alone, to all kingdoms of the earth. Thou hast made the heavens and the earth. Incline, O Jehovah, thine ear, and hear. Open, O Jehovah, thine eyes, and see. And hear thou all the words of Sennacherib that he hath sent to reproach the living God. For they are no gods, but work of the hands of man, wood and stone, and they destroy them. And now, Jehovah our God, save us from his hand, and all kingdoms of the earth do know that thou art Jehovah, thyself alone. And Isaiah son of Amoz sendeth unto Hezekiah, saying, Thus said Jehovah God of Israel, That which thou hast prayed unto me concerning Sennacherib king of Ashur, this is the word that Jehovah spake concerning him. Trampled on thee, laughed at thee, hath the virgin daughter of Zion, behind thee shaken the head, hath the daughter of Jerusalem. Whom hast thou reproached and reviled, and against whom lifted up the voice? Yea, thou dost lift up on high thine eyes against the Holy One of Israel. 
by the hand of thy servants thou hast reviled the lord and sayest in the multitude of my chariots i have come up to a high place of hills the sides of lebanon and i cut down the height of its cedars the choice of its firs and i enter the high place of its extremity the forest of its carmel i i have dug and drunk waters and i dry up with the sole of my steps all floods of a bulwark hast thou not heard from afar it i did from days of old that i formed it now i have brought it in and it is to make desolate ruinous heaps fenced cities and their inhabitants are feeble-handed they were broken down and are dried up they have been the herb of the field and the greenness of the tender grass grass of the roofs and blasted corn before it hath risen up and thy sitting down and thy going out and thy coming in i have known and thy anger towards me because of thy anger towards me and thy noise it came up into mine ears i have put my hook in thy nose and my bridle in thy lips and i have caused thee to turn back in the way in which thou camest and this to thee is the sign food of the year is self-sown grain and in the second year the spontaneous growth and in the third year sow ye and reap and plant vineyards and eat their fruit and it hath continued the escape of the house of judah that hath been left to take root beneath and it hath made fruit upward for from jerusalem goeth forth a remnant and an escape from mount zion the zeal of jehovah of hosts doth this therefore thus said jehovah concerning the king of ashur he doth not come in unto this city nor doth he shoot there an arrow nor doth he come before it with shield nor doth he pour out against it a mount in the way that he came in it he turneth back and unto this city he doth not come in an affirmation of jehovah and i have covered over this city to save it for mine own sake and for the sake of david my servant and a messenger of jehovah goeth out and smiteth in the camp of ashur a hundred and eighty and five thousand and men rise early in the morning and lo all of them are dead corpses and journey and go and turn back doth Zennacherib, king of ashur and dwelleth in nineveh and it cometh to pass he is bowing himself in the house of nisroch his god and Adramelech and Sherezer his sons have smitten him with the sword, and they have escaped to the land of Ararat, and Esarhaddon his son reigneth in his stead. Chapter 38 In those days hath Hezekiah been sick unto death, and come in unto him doth Isaiah son of Amoz the prophet, and saith unto him, Thus said Jehovah, Give a charge to thy house, for thou art dying, and dost not live. And Hezekiah turneth round his face unto the wall, and prayeth unto Jehovah, and saith, I pray thee, O Jehovah, remember, I pray thee, how I have walked habitually before thee in truth, and with a perfect heart, and that which is good in thine eyes I have done. And Hezekiah weepeth, a great weeping. And a word of Jehovah is unto Isaiah, saying, Go. And thou hast said to Hezekiah, Thus said Jehovah, God of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer, I have seen thy tear, lo, I am adding to thy days fifteen years, and out of the hand of the king of Ashur I deliver thee and this city, and have covered over this city. And this to thee the sign from Jehovah, that Jehovah doth this thing that he hath spoken. Lo, I am bringing back the shadow of the degrees that it hath gone down on the degrees of Ahaz by the sun, backward ten degrees and the sun turneth back ten degrees in the degrees that it had gone down a writing of hezekiah king of judah concerning his being sick when he reviveth from his sickness i i said in the cutting off of my days i go into the gates of sheol i have numbered the remnant of mine years i said i do not see jah jah in the land of the living I do not behold man any more with the inhabitants of the world. My sojourning hath departed, and been removed from me as a shepherd's tent. I have drawn together as a weaver my life. By weakness it cutteth me off. From day unto night thou dost end me. I have set him till morning as a lion. So doth he break all my bones. From day unto night thou dost end me. As a crane, a swallow, so I chatter. I mourn as a dove drawn up have been mine eyes on high o jehovah oppression is on me be my surety what do i say seeing he said to me and he himself hath wrought i go softly all my years for the bitterness of my soul lord 
by these do men live, and by all in them is the life of my spirit, and thou savest me, make me also to live. Lo, to peace he changed for me bitterness, and thou hast delighted in my soul without corruption, for thou hast cast behind thy back all my sins. For Sheol doth not confess thee, death doth not praise thee, those going down to the pit hope not for thy truth. The living, the living he doth confess thee, like myself to-day. A father to sons doth make known of thy faithfulness, O Jehovah, to save me, and my songs we sing all days of our lives in the house of Jehovah. And Isaiah saith, Let them take a bunch of figs, and plaster over the ulcer, and he liveth. And Hezekiah saith, What is the sign that I go up to the house of Jehovah? The End of Chapters 29-38 through 38 of the Book of Isaiah from the Young's Literal Translation of the Bible Recording by Mark Penfold